Hello, I'm Karen and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to make um, granny pattern flowers. Okay, this is my selection of flowers that I've decided to share in the video and um, just share with you so they can fold up so that they like for um, at night time and then they can open out for daytime flowers as some flowers actually do and they'll look beautiful that's the back of them that's so that's just a plain white one I'll show you the back of a coloured one so you can see what that one looks like and um, this one I didn't do the stuffing on this one because I wanted just to share with you that you can actually just have it as a dome so you can have that dangling down almost like a little daisy and that's the um, the hexagon to go in the middle okay so what I'm going to do is just share with you how to actually build one of these flowers because I've actually shared in my other videos how to make all of the different pieces. So what you're going to need is the circle from the granny circle crochet bag. You're going to need the hexagon from the hexagon video and you're going to need six of the petals from the how to crochet with water okay and when you crochet these ones they naturally curve in this way around so that's the front and that's the actual back make sure you sew in all your tail ends and then save your tail ends as a little bundle for stuffing okay so what i'm going to do now is just going to get my yarn i'm just using leftover scraps of yarn from different projects so um they're all like the ones that are suitable for my four millimeter, four millimeter crochet hook um so that's a four millimeter in um or G6 if you're in America. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the flowers, okay? So you've got, so on the hexagon, you've only got two rounds, but then the posts have got two posts in between, and we're going to be working in between the posts. So you've got pairs of posts, and we're going to go in the gaps. The same with the circle, you've got three, you've got three posts, but we're going to work in between the gaps, and the same thing on the triangles, we're going to go into the actual gaps when we're joining so you're going to need to have a petal to go to the front so I'm just going to get a twist on my yarn of my hook so you go through a corner of a petal in between the posts of the circle and then the actual hexagon that's going on the back it goes back to back and yes I know it looks too small but don't worry so you're going to go into the corner of an actual of the actual hexagon to begin with okay and then slip stitch that into place chain three then you're going to go in between the posts of the triangle at the front in between a set of three of the circle and then in between the straight part of the hexagon at the back and chain three then we're going to go in the front of a petal pick up another petal and go into the corner of that petal then you want to go in between the set of three posts of the circle and then into the corner of the actual hexagon at the back. You know if you're doing it right because your corners of your triangles always go with the corner of the hexagon. So one, two, three, and then in between the triangle. Oops. In between the three posts, it will, I can't see. So we've got a set of three there, and then we're going to go into the. So I'm going into the um, side bit there. So I'm going in between there and in between that one there, like that. And then one, two, three. Then we've got the corner of the triangle. We're going to pick up another triangle. So we've got the corner there. In between the three posts of the circle and then we're going into the actual corner piece it feels like it's far away but into the corner of the actual hexagon at the back and slip stitch so one two three now we're just going to do this side piece of this petal in the three posts there and into this side of the hexagon the straight line part at the back one two three into the corner of this petal pick up the next one into the corner of that one in between a group of three posts of the circle and into the corner piece of the hexagon at the back one two three there there 
and the straight bit at the back of the hexagon. One, two, three. We're going to do the corner, so we need another petal. And we're going in the corner there. We're going in between a set of three posts of the circle and into the very corner piece of the hexagon at the back. One, two, three. And we're going to just do this side. This, so we're going to go into that side bit there, in between the three posts, in between the side bit of the hexagon at the back. And then we're going to go one, ooh, I've split my arm funny. One, two, three. Now at this point here, where we've got a nice gap, I'm just going to pull that tail end. This is where we're going to get the stuff in. You can actually use the fibre fill stuff in if you wanted to, if you don't leave yourself very big tail ends. But we're going to stuff all of the tail ends into the actual flower, like so. And then we're going to pick up the tail end that we've been working with. Then we're going to get, so we're going into, so we've done our chain of three, going to go into the corner, pick up this last petal. This is where it can get a bit more for you, I suppose. So into there, and then we want to make sure we're going into the corner of the hexagon. There, at the back. Going all the way through, pull that tight. One, two, three. And then into the side piece there, into the, oops, there, and then straight through the one at the back. And then this very last bit, one, two, three, you need to make sure this petal goes over the top. So you're going to go into the corner and then where you did the very first corner, you're going to go into exactly the same place and come through and pull that through there. Get a scissors, cut off, and we just pull that through. And then this is the tail end that I've been using. So put your hook through the front Get the loop, pull that tight, pull that through. Oops, that's a bit tight. And then just do a chain at the back, just so that you've got that there. Now what you're going to do is just in between the gaps <clears throat> where you've got all your different posts, you're just going to come through and pick up your tail ends and just start pulling those inside your actual circle. You can just keep moving yourself around until you've just got all of these tail ends tucked inside. Like this. Oops. I've gone in the wrong bit. There we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm making a bit of a... Um, making that look a bit dramatic, aren't I? Well, at least, you know, these things happen. So you tuck those bits in... <laughs> And just get this come under here. I think it's my own fault for leaving my tail ends for so long, but I like the longer tail ends. It, it's easier for me to actually get a hold of them to be able to do the sewing. So just get all of those tucked in to there, like so. And there you go. You have your little flower, which you can open up your petals. And even though that you know that you began with a circle at the very beginning you can actually see that you've actually got your hexagon shape um, and your petals can dangle down so it looks like a daisy okay so um, you can also obviously manipulate them how you want because they're little flowers if you wanted to you could actually do yourself some kind of hexagon um, style pattern with joining petals together and uh, forget this one here look so you'd actually start making yourself some kind of pretty pattern if you want to do it that way around I personally have got uh, this is a really old um, I had a whole bunch of just fake flowers and they was in the garden they were just to actually cheer up my um, garden swing I've put some happiness flowers on there and then what I'm going to do is just get these and just poke this into the back into there and you can add them on to your bunch of flowers I'll just get another one on and just add that on just so that you've got oops I've knocked the other one off 
bit that you can see so you can make yourself a beautiful bunch of crochet flowers um, you can also obviously join them together like I've shared okay so um, I just thought that I'll just share with you and they do they look lovely with the actual happiness flowers so there you go how to actually crochet um, geometric flowers okay so Thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for subscribing. I'm just going to put that one on its own, I really like that one. Oh, now then, what I didn't share with you, that's just reminded me with it being the colours, you can actually also do um, these, join these onto a pentagon, okay? And for those that are interested in the actual words, where I've been actually doing a crochet pattern with a word, if you use the capital version of flower, and break it apart like I've been sharing with you into the components you can rebuild it to actually make the pattern for flower so all of these are actually all parts of these components but this actually also is uh, so if I just turn it just to show you so you can get a C O V if I have this V that way around and one of the lines of F <laughs> E, one, two, this one makes an F, and this one makes the E. So it does actually make cough FA, which I did share with you how to do that. But this beginning chain is really awkward. So if you actually turn flower into flowers, you can add your extra two chains to make this extra nice post there. So the pattern for this video, would for the pentagon, would actually be circle, so that'll be a magic circle, chain three, V stitch, double crochet, V stitch double crochet, V stitch double crochet, V stitch double crochet, V stitch double crochet, and finish with a slip stitch. Okay, so that's just for those that are interested in that kind of part of it. For those of you that are not, um, sorry if it's all confusing, but it was all to do because I actually crocheted the alphabet. You can actually go and learn how to crochet that with the components of these um, of my patterns. Okay, so thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for subscribing. If nothing else from this, you've actually learned how to make some really, really beautiful flowers. Okay, and um, I was going to do this video before, um, but I've decided that I'd need, uh, um, something happened. I had a bit of an accident and um, I've got a pop. I don't know if you can see it. Look, I fell over um, and I really hurt my arm. Luckily, I didn't break it, and luckily, I really ended up with a cut on it. But it was so sore that when I was doing things and it was like rubbing on my skin, I couldn't do this video sooner. So, this is this video for now. And then the next project, I think that you will absolutely love. But that's just my opinion. So, thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for subscribing, and bye for now.